So that audition that I was the cowboy in got a call back. Yes, you did. It's actually, yes, you did. It's actually right after. It's at one fifteen today. <laughs> Fantastic! Congrats. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, I think they're filming in Joshua Tree. Nice. I oh, you get to ride a horse. Yes. Nail that son of a gun. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. It's Corbin. I'm a cowboy. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Follow us Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. Save a horse. Ride a cowboy. Yep. And today. Yes. Uh, we got a new trailer yes. for Salomon Buys new yes. film. Oh. Uh, I think it's the, from the good, film good, with Ron Tron. He's working with everybody. Uh, he did the cameo. Right, we saw the music video. Yeah, I don't think he's in the film. I just think he was the cameo in that song. Uh, but it's Salmon and uh, Puga, uh, Puja. He he Puja Hegde. It's called Kisi Ka by Kisi Kai Jan. Okay. And I think it comes out on his Eid. Eid. Which is, That's typical for which his is films. his holiday. Correct. Uh, it belongs to Salmon by. Yeah, it was created by him, for him, <laughs> and through him. And I think this is a uh, big uh, Salmon star vehicle yeah kind of kind of film sure uh so here we go dam chetre kuru chetre samvetra yutsama nam ka pandavas jayam kim kuru asan jayam vaise aapka naam kya hai mera koi naam nahi like the hair oh, oh! naam se jana jata hu <laughs> He's got really long hair. Four hundred years old, old antique. Thank God, I didn't forget anything. Violence likes, oh, likes him. him. <laughs> She's dearest to me. Iska kya rakna? John se bhi zyada. Mujhe ek ek cheek sunni hai. Insaniyat ke naate, main insaniyat ka saath dunga. Ye audio na kono. Ye violence nahi hai baat kya. This is called self-defense. Damn. 
the action looks actually quite epic in that. Like that. <laughs> that's I'm going in with the expectation of ridiculous, over the top yeah. action stunts yeah. blowing up. It, I mean, that's the menu. It looks like. Uh, like what I said in the beginning, a Salman, a Salman Khan star vehicle. Yeah. You're going in to see your beloved, if he's beloved to you, yeah. uh, your Salman by, uh, kick ass and probably look cool and look say cool. good action. Good lines. lines. It's like it's like the old school Schwarzenegger and Stallone movies. You're not you're not going into those things looking for thespians. You're going into that <laughs> thing looking for action and sexy shots and lighting and hair and yeah. Yeah. I I wonder why he has such long hair. I don't know. <laughs> like it was really long. It was very long. Um, you ever if want, that, if, if what? You ever want a wig like that? Not that long. No. Okay. I've had my own hair shoulder length, but my hair doesn't grow out straight. My hair grows out really curly Same. when when it grows, and it it grows up, not down. <laughs> yeah, my, my hair grows yeah, like... up and out. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Um, but yeah, the I thought the action looked really cool. Yeah, the, um, the action looks great. Yeah, like that was it. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's just because KGF just came out, but like, <laughs> that everybody's talking about violence now. <laughs> I know. I don't like violence. Violence, but likes violence me. likes me. I mean, I guess it worked, box office wise, and so. Um, but yeah, this just looks like a, a massive Salman Khan ve yeah, vehicle, big action vehicle, um, just to go get some popcorn. And enjoy in the same way that you enjoy a John Wick film. You're not going into John Wick expecting spectacular acting, or you're, you're, but also I wouldn't expect this to be John Wick. No, not at all. It'd be all. hard for expect. I don't any expect film anything to be John. John Wick. I don't expect be a really, anything to be John Wick. That'd be a really high bar for for an action film, is what I'm saying. Exactly. I, I don't. I don't. Ex I expect John Wick to be John Wick. Yeah. Because even the action sequences that are so great, for example, in in the Mission Impossible films. They're not John Wick. John Wick has a very particular fingerprint that is specific to John Wick, um, and I this I just I would go into this with the hope. It's like well, I remember when the last John Wick, not four but three, when when Mike and I went to go see it, we were sitting there and the theater was full, and this guy came walking in with some popcorn with his girlfriend or wife or whatever, and. He said to the whole auditorium, he said, who's ready for some headshots? <laughs> and the whole place went, yeah! That's, that's, what, that's you what, you're what you're looking that's for. And that's what you're looking for. That's what you expect. Yeah. And Amy, obviously, being in Indian cinema, it's especially with a, a, an actor like Salman Khan, who knows what his fans want. Right. And knows what the audiences want. Right. And so it's so different than, than here, um, where we don't really have the stars anymore. Anymore. No. Like in terms of like, like that. Obviously, there's celebrities, and obviously we got those in abundance. But in terms of like, this person's in it, right? It's going to be a box office hit. Exactly. I, I like like the old days with Schwarzenegger yeah. and Stallone. You just had their name on it, and you knew it was going to do it's well. It's just not around anymore. No. I mean, even even though I, Top Gun and all those did well, I don't think it's just because to Tom Cruise was in it. It's it can't be anymore. No. No. It's because obviously he, he delivers insane action and, yep and, and good and, story um and so that's why but if like he was just in a random film and it didn't look good it wouldn't do well no uh that's any actor now there's like i cannot think the only one i could think of it'd be like if taylor swift was in a film but then that's she's not an actor she's a musician no and, so, and it would only be the first film yeah swifty fans would could be out and all over that but after one film we will see. Which she's going to be doing. She, I mean, she wants to direct, and she's already directed a couple things that are short films. I think she has a feature that she's working on or has just wrapped. But, yeah, there is there is no one who can just be attached to a film anymore, and it just guarantees box office because of the star. Maybe a director. Except maybe SRK. Maybe a director. <laughs> like, if it's a uh, Nolan film, you know it's going to probably do well. But Probably. Even, but even then, if the if the trailer doesn't look good, but a lot of people will forgive. They'll be like, "Oh, it's Nolan. It's going to have a lot of nuances," you know? Yeah. Um, I guess James Cameron. Just Cameron is just. But that's more because of the spectacle, not because it's Cameron. No, no, his stories are they're typically garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> um, they're not really captivating stories. They're very predictable stories. Uh -huh. um, but it's the visual spectacle that you go for. I mean, TV shows maybe. Because that's a less of an investment for people. Yeah. Like, I just, there's, even even somebody who was just, everything he touched was box office gold, like a Spielberg. Doesn't matter. 
Mm-hmm. There's no, there really is no one anymore. Mm-hmm. And I think, I mean, just because Patan did so well, SR, it doesn't mean SRK is untouchable at all. Oh, yeah, he had flops. Yeah, the, no. many years before this. Absolutely. So, but also, it's just, I mean, India is still more star driven than we are still, but they is. are much less than they used to be. Yeah. Um, Salman's had quite a few flops. SRK had quite a few flops. Obviously, Amir, Khan, Amir yeah. had flops. Uh, people in the south, outside of Rajamuli, have had flops. Alia, who's the new up and coming, you know, actress. Oh, flops. She's really not new anymore but she still is a young actor Priyanka who, even herself and her young career has had or well, yeah everybody um I mean even Taboo has had that yeah everybody does it and she's not the caliber in no. terms of stardom no no that no, everybody no, no, no. Not else at all. is not at all but even like people like Junior NTR or Ram Charan Ranveer. Ram obviously he had three last year that were yeah. box office flops I think. Akshay uh, yeah quite a few it's just people either don't want to go to the theaters anymore, uh, especially in India, to invest that, or they just expect more. Yeah. Or they just expect spectacle from theaters, and they expect yeah. everything else to go to OTTs. The challenge for me is going to be what it always is. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of things, but when I've watched his films, the thing about John Wick is that you, while you don't go for story and acting, you're going for the action, you still get good story and you still get really good actors. Mm. And it's hard. I wouldn't call Keanu a really good actor, but he's not bad. He's solid. He has been many times, though. He is, but in the John Wick films, it just he's he's they, they, they don't give him a lot to do. He says yeah thirty times, but he's surrounded by mm-hmm. very strong actors. Yeah. Yes. And absolutely. That for me helps yeah. the in betweens of the action sequences. Whereas other films I've watched that are pure action. The over the topness always kind of gets me pulled away from it when the acting just becomes dreadful. But I didn't see that in the, the tr- I didn't see that. I saw I saw corny and cheesy, which I expect, and that's absolutely fine. That's that's you know get through the chopper. That's yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I would be very interested to see this. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, let us know what you thought about the trailer. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and uh, anything else we need to know down below. Josh!